Cop hating loud mouth blocks cars with her belly, fed up driver gets brutal payback, and for our feel good news article of the day, we have this. Once again a loud mouthed fat ass liberal woman who believes the law of disorderly conduct doesn't apply to her has decided to block traffic while protesting the shooting of a thug by local police. But as you can see in the video below, this time the driver wasn't having it and said enough. So the woman hit the floor like a sack of potatoes. In her case probably fried potatoes. This extremely heavy set woman thought the driver of the car was going to back down and not go through the intersection. Although the driver did try multiple times to push her slowly and move her out of the way, she insisted in blocking him off. After a few more taps he had enough and just floored it. The stupid woman hit the floor like a concrete slab, although a concrete slab probably doesn't weigh as much as she does. One thing is for sure, I am amazed at how powerful and strongly built that Chrysler 300 is. I might consider getting one for when I have to go to San Francisco or Oaktown and their vast welfare population decides they need to go out and protest some thug who was killed by police for being a criminal. FindLaw.com states, blocking traffic is not legal and is not a new practice for protesters. When protesters block traffic, they are engaging in civil disobedience, a term coined by one of America's earliest freethinkers and intellectuals, Henry David Thoreau. While nearly everyone caught in a traffic jam caused by protesters becomes upset due to the delay, it is important to recognize that reporting on traffic conditions is a mainstay of local news stations across the country, while protests often get ignored. Blocking traffic means at very least making the local traffic report. Although organized protests or marches can obtain permits to close streets, frequently protesters move from the permitted areas. When protesters block highways or streets that they are not permitted to be on, they do risk arrest. However, police are loath to arrest peaceful protesters, even when they block traffic. The recent protest in Washington, D.C. blocked a busy intersection for seven minutes, and there were no arrests reported. But what about the First Amendment? The First Amendment guarantees the right to assemble and the right to free speech and expression, however, there are limits on those rights. Generally, Local and state governments can and do restrict the time, place, and manner of protest. For instance, noise and time restrictions are particularly reasonable restrictions for residential areas. After all, even if you care about the protesters' cause, you don't want to be woken up at 5 a.m. to the sound of bullhorns, unless you're just that righteous. Additionally, just because people are protesting, they are not given free reign to break already existing laws. Simply walking on the highway, or any roadway outside of a crosswalk, is considered jaywalking, which is a crime. Furthermore, most jurisdictions also have laws regarding blocking or obstructing traffic. I was arrested while protesting, do I need a lawyer? Frequently, protesters are arrested. While often protesters are simply detained in order for officers to effectively control a crowd, some protesters do get charged with crimes. If you are ticketed and released, or booked into custody, contact a lawyer right away as all criminal charges are serious matters that can have serious consequences. Usually, protesters are charged with, trespassing disturbing the peace disorderly conduct failing to obey an officer's instruction obstruction of justice resisting arrest assault if you get arrested while protesting, it is important to forget your First Amendment right to free speech and remember your Fifth Amendment right to silence so as to not incriminate yourself. Anything you say can be used against you. You can be charged with a crime even if you do not think you did anything wrong. Demand to speak with a lawyer and don't answer the officer's questions, apart from providing your identification. As you can see it's illegal to hold anyone against their will, and when we used to be a land of laws people would get arrested for this. This is probably why stinking hippies never protested on freeways back in the late 60s. So these morons go out and break the law to protest a criminal being shot. In an odd way this sounds kind of logical, doesn't it? But here is the funniest part. After they get taken down they all start calling 911. UMM, why 911? Wasn't it you were protesting the police? Why call them if you are currently protesting them and you despise everything they stand for? Please share if you believe the driver did the right thing.
Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.